Hello, I'm Bill Arcega, and this is The Correspondence on Voice of America. Well, you know, the mosquito season in the U.S. has already begun, and along with it, the threat from the Zika virus. State officials say they're doing what they can to protect citizens, but is the U.S. Congress doing enough? VOA health correspondent Carol Pearson has more. It's the start of summer in the U.S., the start of vacation time for families, and breeding time for mosquitoes, including the one that carries the Zika virus. The head of the Centers for Disease Control says so much could be done to prevent the spread of Zika in the U.S., particularly in the southern states, if only Congress would provide the money. We need a robust response to protect American women and reduce to the greatest extent humanly possible the number of families affected. Zika would not be a major threat except for the harm it does to babies. The virus causes microcephaly, meaning small head. Some lawmakers don't believe the virus will spread in the U.S., like it has in Latin America and the Caribbean. But doctors don't want to risk it. My concern is that people aren't going to get uh, worried about Zika virus in the U.S. till we start seeing babies with microcephaly and other birth defects. And joining us now to talk about the potentially expanding threat posed by the Zika virus, we say hello to VOA's health correspondent, Carol Pearson, who filed that report for us. I'm so glad you could join us, uh, Carol. Thank so, you, Bill. Good report. So what do health officials say needs to be done that isn't being done right now? They need money. I mean, not just U.S. health officials, but the WHO, the World Health Organization, they say there is a funding gap. Right now in the U.S., I mean, it's the start of the mosquito breeding sure. season, and people in Houston, Texas, people in Florida, in fact, the Republican governor of Florida has appealed to Congress to please provide some emergency funding. The mayor of Houston mm -hmm. says, what are we going to do? Wait until the house is on fire before we declare it an emergency. This is largely a disease of the poor. We need, we need more money. How much money do they need and, and what is it going to be used for? Well, the uh, total budget is $1.9 billion that the president asked Congress for back in February. And it's been four months, three months when you have infectious disease is an eternity. It means it has that option to spread so rapidly. But Congress is really tight-fisted with its money, especially under yeah. this administration. They, they really don't want to give the president anything that, uh, that he's asking for. Is this political, or, or are they not aware of the seriousness of this issue? I think it's a combination of both. However, it, uh, what, from what I've read, um, there have been some Republican governors, like one from Ohio, that, they expect Zika to act the same way that dengue has acted. Dengue is another virus carried by the same mosquito. Dengue, we've seen some local outbreaks in Florida and mm -hmm. Texas, but we haven't seen any major spread because people live in air-conditioned buildings. However, you can't say that for all viruses, and from what we've seen from Zika, it not only makes the person sick, and, and that's the least of the concerns, it causes this horrible, horrible, lifelong birth defect that, right. that costs millions of dollars per child. And Carol, here's, here's the big concern. In, in the next, uh, in just a little over two months, uh, Brazil is going to host the world for the Olympics. Hun hundreds of athletes from, from 100 countries are going to be there. Uh, is Brazil ready to deal with that? Brazil, after all, is epicenter. For the Zika virus. The public health officials, top doctors in the U.S., head of the CDC, the, the head of the National Institutes of Allergies and Infectious Diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says there's really no concern in the U.S. about Brazil and the Olympics. That's because 40 million people regularly travel back and forth between the U.S. and South, between North and South America. And, you know, of that, the Olympics will represent less than one quarter of one percent of but the these population. these are athletes uh, from, from so many different countries yeah, sort of spreading out. But Zika is expected in Europe this summer. It's uh, because of international travel. A disease anywhere is a disease potentially everywhere, according to the CDC. Do these athletes uh, uh, face any risks, any dangers? Is there anything they can do to protect themselves? Well, they there have, have been warnings that, you know, if you're pregnant, don't go to a country where Zika is. And if you are a man and you go and your partner is pregnant, either abstain from sex or use a condom. Don't plan on getting pregnant soon afterwards. And 
so that's that's the advice. Uh, very quickly, because I'm out of time, has the medical community ad adequately communicated the seriousness of this threat? Yes. They're no? trying to. Okay. Thank you, Carol. That's all the time we have today, unfortunately, but we'll be back again next week for yet another edition of The Correspondence. I hope you'll join us then. Until then, stay up to date with the latest news from around the world at voanews.com. You can also catch our show online. Just click on the Programs tab or check us out on Facebook or Twitter. I'm Milar Sega for now. So long from Washington.